I'm Vicky Goody from Smart Grooming and I'm here today to show you how to use the Smart Tails Mane and Tail Thinning Comb. So start at the top and just gradually work your way down. He's actually already thinking, oh this is quite nice. Um, and as you can see, it will take out quite a lot of hair very quickly and efficiently. Basically you're going to use it, dragging it down the tail as you go and using it where you would pull a tail normally, so i.e. down the sides and about two thirds of the way down the dock. Now if you've got a really thick tail then you'd probably want to look at a slightly coarser bladed tool which allows more hair to go through and it to get through and process the hair quicker and easily. Um, this is a medium one I'm using on this tail. He's got a sort of a medium fine tail, nothing too thick. Then once you've got a little bit of a definition like we're getting now, I'll start on the other side. As you can see, the hair is coming out quite considerably. Now, you can also note it's actually coming out in some places from the root. It doesn't just cut it, it does take all the loose dead hair from the follicle. So it does thin and layer to a degree, but it does take out the actual hair too. So you're not going to look like it's been cut with scissors or cut with a razor. So that's that. Now that I've started to get a bit of a shape there, I can go a little bit underneath, a little bit further underneath. And again, just keep going downwards. No fear of cutting them, although there's a very sharp blade underneath here. It's actually been designed very carefully so that there's no actual sharp blade going to hurt the horse in any way at all. It's a curved tooth, curved, and it just goes into the tail hair. It doesn't actually touch the skin. Right, now we're starting on the other side. Again, he's quite relaxed lifting his tail up so he's obviously not finding it a problem and as you can see taking out loads of hay, hair as we go down and just keep coming down and go as far underneath the dock as you like just keep combing you may find you want to go on to a finer blade if you want it slightly closer I find it's best to do a bit each day, a bit like if you're pulling a tail and then tail bandage it and then come back to it the next day and have a look and see if it needs any more doing to it. So the first day just get a rough shape and then go back to it the next day and have a look at it having had it tail bandaged and then you can go from there and improve the shape and how much more you want to do to it. because it actually thins it as it goes down and when you get the regrowth it's not all grown out at the same length like if you were if, somebody, if you'd clipped a tail down the side which some people do to, to make them look tidy you've got the regrowth is very thick and bushy um, with this the re regrowth is much more layered um, and again during the summer if you just want to keep on top of it all you need to do is just run down the side sort of just before you go to a show or each week just to keep it in shape. Well, having thin the tail using the smart tails, I've put a tail bandage on and now we're ready just to whip it off and have a look and see what shape's left. Okay. As you can see, it's even all the way down. I'm quite happy with the finish on this. Um, you can go a little bit closer if you wanted to, but overall I think this is fine for what I, I want for him. Nice and tidy and a very neat effect. I'll just walk him away so that you get a better impression of the overall look.